Hello and welcome to Microfocus demonstration video. In this video, we are presenting an example that will show how Access Manager can enable OAuth communication for a legacy application. After watching this video, you will be able to configure Access Manager to enable OAuth for legacy application. To understand how to enable OAuth communication for a legacy application, let us take an example of an enterprise Acme.com. It has a multi-tier application, a front-end web application that uses these services from web service layers. The enterprise wants to protect these services and applications using OAuth. The services are updated to REST APIs. Now, to enable the existing web application to retrieve information from the REST APIs, replace the RESTful API endpoints behind Access Gateway. Now, the application needs to be modified to fetch the OAuth token from Identity Server. To minimize this change, Access Manager can enable Access Gateway to fetch OAuth tokens on behalf of the application and pass it to these services using the authorization header. On Access Manager Access Gateway, we have added the APIs for the timesheet application as the protected resource. For this protected resource, we need to first assign an authentication procedure to authenticate the user. Here, we have used any contract, which means if the user has authenticated, this option allows any contract defined for identity server to be valid. Or, if the user has not authenticated, it prompts the user to authenticate using the default contract that is assigned to identity server configuration. After specifying the authentication procedure, we need to configure Access Gateway to inject the OAuth token on behalf of the application. So, under Identity Injection, click Manage Policies, New. Specify the name for the policy, such as Include Token. Specify the type as Access Gateway Identity Injection. Specify a description for the identity injection policy. This is an optional field, but it is useful if you plan to create multiple policies to be used by multiple resources. In the Actions section, click New, Inject OAuth Token. You can select OAuth Scope from the available OAuth Scopes list. Here we select the existing scope, Email. The selected scope gets listed in the OAuth Scopes Select from Available OAuth Scopes list field. If you want to manually add more scopes or edit existing scopes, you can use the OAuth Scopes Select from Available OAuth Scopes list field. You can add multiple scopes separated by a comma. In the Renew Before the Token Expiry field, specify a time for the token renewal. Here we have specified 5 minutes, which means the token gets renewed 5 minutes before the IDP session expires. Click OK and apply the changes. Select the injection policy that we created, that is include token, and then enable it. When the policy gets enabled for the protected resource, click OK. Now, when a user tries to access the application for creating, modifying, or deleting a timesheet, Access Gateway redirects the user to Identity Server, which prompts for user authentication as per the authentication contract of the Identity Server. When the user is authenticated, Access Gateway shares the session details with Identity Server to fetch the token. Hence, Identity Server issues an access token with email scope to Access Gateway. Access Gateway injects this token into the authorization header and the user is able to perform the required action on the timesheet. Hence, the legacy application need not be modified because 
Access Gateway injects the token and retrieves the required services for the users to access. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.